morning, Eagles. Welcome back to episode 60 of Eagle News. Today is Tuesday, December 10th, 2019, and today is National Human Rights Day. My name is Jane. And my name is Aubrey. Good luck tonight to both basketball teams. The boys are at home against Dublin Davis, while the girls travel to Dublin Davis. The 7th grade game starts at 5 p.m., with the 8th grade game starting immediately following. Wednesday, there's a home wrestling quad match here at Hyatt's. Now announcing a Christmas caroling contest. The contest is due this Friday to Mr. Meadow's Google Drive or his phones. Eagle News wants to share your advisory singing Christmas carols. Keep your videos to one minute in length. Now for sale, the original Hyatt's Christmas ornament. The ornament is only $10 and it's for sale in the office and in Mr. Meadow's room. All proceeds of the ornament go towards the Hyatt Scholarship Fund. Hey Aubrey, what's for lunch today? Today, the kitchen is serving brunch. Hold Pancakes. on for lunch, hold on for lunch. Show them the ornament. Keep it on the table. <laughs> okay. Now lunch. <laughs> Today the kitchen is serving brunch. Pancakes, a turkey sausage links, and a sausage patty. Breakfast potato, a juice cup, and milk. Make sure you don't forget about your two vegetables and fruit or juice. As always, you can get a deli sandwich at the Hyatt substation in place of your entree. That sounds delicious. Well, announcement, Mr. C is collecting picture books, so please bring them in by next Wednesday to his room. Now let's head over to Eagle News Weather Center with Haley, who is ready for today's weather report. Oh. Thanks, Aubrey. Today in Powell, Ohio, it is going to be rainy and maybe some snow with a high of 43 degrees and a low of 20 degrees. In Los Angeles, California, it will have a high of 68 degrees and a low of 50 degrees. Wow, I'd love to be there. Let's go back to Jane for lunch. Thanks, Haley. Lunch is everyone's favorite time of the day but it is very important that you follow these very simple rules for the lunchroom. Let's hear about some rules for the lunchroom you need to know and to follow in the lunchroom. Eagles, today we're going to be learning about lunchroom rules. Let's go. Try and keep your food on the table. If you drop your food, pick it up and make sure that you throw it away. When an adult is talking, turn around and give them your full attention. Try not to leave a mess to make the janitor's job a lot easier. Make sure to clean up all your food before you leave the cafe. Keep your food in the cafe and leave it out of the hallways. You can either throw away your food or put it in a lunchbox. It'll make Miss Ray really happy. Please try to walk in the cafeteria. Running is very unnecessary. Walking makes it more safe for not only you, but everyone else around you. Only get up from your seat when you're throwing away trash or getting food. If you want to talk to a friend, wait till after lunch. Remember these rules, Eagles. Have a great day. Bye. Wow, that was a fantastic video. It's trivia time. The standings are up to date, and the top three advisories are Mr. Turner's room in first place with 114 points, Mrs. Osborne's class with 107 points, and Mrs. Wilson in the SLC with 103 points. We love seeing eighth grade classrooms in the lead here at Eagle News. Today's question is name something on which you'd hate to see an out of order sign. Again, today's question is name something on which you'd hate to see an out of order sign. Send your answers to Mr. Meta via text to earn your points. Only nine more days left in this month's contest. Now to Haley in this day is... In the This Day in History <laughs> studio. Ready? <laughs> Ready? Action! Now to Haley in the This Day is History studio. Thanks, Aubrey. Ten years ago, the motion picture Avatar made its first world premiere, which was written and produced by James Cameron. I sure do love that movie. On this day in 1901, the first Nobel Prizes were awarded in Stockholm, Sweden, in the fields of physics, chemistry, medicine, literature, and peace. And on this day in 1690, a failed attack on Quebec and subsequent near a mutiny force of the Massachusetts Bay Colony to issue the first paper currency in the history of the Western Hemisphere. Now, how, now let's head back to the studio with Jay. Thanks, Haley. Now please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance.
I, I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We want to leave you today with this thought of the day. That stars can, can't shine without darkness, so whenever life gets tough, make sure to keep your head up. That's it for episode 60 of Eagle News. My name's Jane. My name is Aubrey. And my name's Haley. Hey, there's either eight or nine days left of school. <laughs> Whatever Avery says. All right, everybody, say goodbye. No. Goodbye. Bye. Woo, Avery.